Yo, yo, yo. All right, so I know you looked at the title and you saw the word squash and you were like, that's not keto friendly. Listen up closely, it's gonna go kind of fast. So when we think the word squash, we think acorn, butternut, spaghetti, yellow. Now, acorn squash, we're looking at 13 net carbs per cup, butternut squash, 14. However, yellow is only three and get this, six net carbs for spaghetti squash per cup. So twice baked cheesy spaghetti squash, keto friendly? Yes, please. Welcome to my kitchen. So I was looking at my recipe book for something to keto buy, and I came across this recipe card, which I got from Walmart in like 2008. And it turns out with a few tweaks, it's keto friendly. So let's get keto. All right, so first we're gonna preheat an oven to 400 degrees, and then we're going to coat a 13 by nine inch baking dish with nonstick spray, and then set that aside. Now we're going to take two large spaghetti squash, and we're gonna cut them in half lengthwise. and then scoop out and discard the seeds. I have a foil lined baking sheet. And what I wanna do is I want to season the squash and then we're gonna place it cut side down. So I'm gonna drizzle it with a little bit of oil, then season it with some salt. Then we're gonna place them cut side down on our baking sheet. We're gonna bake these for about 30 to 40 minutes or until tender. Now while those are in the oven, we'll just go ahead and get the rest of our ingredients prepped. So I have a bell pepper here that I wanna go ahead and get chopped up. Beautiful. Then I'm just gonna chop these into sticks. and then get those sticks diced up. All right, and for the bell pepper, we're just gonna get this sauteed until it's just tender. So in a skillet, I'm gonna melt three tablespoons of butter. And we're gonna add our bell pepper. And I'm gonna also add a half of a red onion that I diced up as well. We're gonna saute these for about a minute or two, just until they're tender. Beautiful. All right, so this we're just gonna go ahead and set aside. And then in a large bowl, we're going to add one cup of sour cream, one third cup of cream, one tablespoon of coconut flour, which I mixed with a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum, but you can just leave the xanthan gum out, that's optional. Then we have a chicken flavor bouillon, and you can use either chicken or vegetable and just break it up a little bit. And then one and a half teaspoons of chopped fresh marjoram, or you can also use fresh thyme. And then about one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. All right, we're just gonna give this a really good mix. And then to this, we're going to stir in two cups of shredded sharp cheddar or Colby Jack cheese. And then we're gonna give that a really, really good mix until everything's well combined. All right, so our squash, we removed it from the oven and let it cool a little bit so that it's easier to touch. And we're gonna reduce the oven heat to 375. And now what we wanna do is just scoop the inside of the squash from the shell. And you can just use about, you can use a spoon or a fork. And 
and then we're gonna add that to our sour cream mixture. Then once it's all added, we'll add two lightly beaten eggs. Add a half a cup of crushed pork rinds. Beautiful. Now we're just gonna give this all a really, really good mix. Perfect. And then we're just gonna add this to our baking dish. Spread it out nicely. And this is gonna bake at 375 for 30 to 35 minutes or until it's lightly golden brown. And this whole thing has 18 servings, which is a lot of people to feed and only five net carbs per serving. I mean, so then how can you not like this cheesy, squashy deliciousness on a plate? I hope you get inspiration from my kitchen. Like and subscribe to come back for more and comment below what your thoughts on this dish are and if you're gonna incorporate it into your keto diet. You can connect with me on any of my social media listed below. Thank you much just for being here and I'll catch you back here for more deliciousness.